Huh? That's a start, guy. I like living in the U.S., but I don't care about the American dream. And still meaning about this so busy? Um, I look for my parents. <laughs> as far as the political system, I don't agree with everything that goes on government-wise, but it, I mean, uh, uh, it's my first time being over in Europe, being in a different kind of culture, a different kind of society, and it's just what I'm used to, and you know, Basically, yeah. And it, I mean, it, I don't agree with the political system, but I can say I like living in America just because, you know, I've always lived there and there's a lot of good things in America, even though the government might be fucked up and there might be other fucked up things, but, you know. Yeah. I think most people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think most people that we've met on the tour all nationalists to a degree where they really like where they're living and the kind of food where they live and they really like the kind of house they live in and stuff like that and I think that's cool but I don't think that that necessarily has anything to do with your nationality. I think that just has to do with what you're used to, what you're kind of, kind of condition. Yeah. So I think that we all, yeah, we all love our home but I don't think it's because it's the U.S. is why we love right. it. In fact, I know it's not the U.S. that we love. It's that we love going home and being in our own beds and hanging out with people that all speak English. <laughs> and things, like, things, you know, things like that. Small, small details. Like we can communicate with other people. <laughs> well, what's about the, these jokes you made uh, between the songs? <laughs> Wait, is this, is this uh, is your program killing? on all the sick uh, gigs? Or? No, we, no. Told, we told jokes between the songs because he broke two strings, which is not a normal <laughs> thing. Usually they don't break anything. And uh, we didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> and I, we told some good jokes today. <laughs> <laughs> I think the audience didn't understand that. I did. We, <laughs> did. He did. Good enough. It was, just, it was just to kill I, I didn't understand it too uh, well. <laughs> right, well, I, I, I kind of figured that people wouldn't understand it, but at least I was trying to communicate with them instead yeah. of us just sitting there waiting for him to fix his string. I mean, it's, it's bad enough <laughs> when you got to sit around and wait. And I mean, we try to play the songs as quickly as possible, you know, as close together as possible. But Plus, we're I a bunch waiting. of funny guys. Right. <laughs> and we're very, yeah, and we we're are. very funny. Yeah. <laughs> Laugh. What's your thing?
two things you're going to do when you get back to the United States. <laughs> First, I'm going to fuck. Then I'm going <laughs> to. I got it. First, I'm going to eat Mexican food. Then I'm going to fuck. <laughs> I say the same thing when my girlfriend lives six hours away from me. So he's gonna eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna drive. <laughs> one more song. <laughs> oh, the one about the blood on your sword is the blood of a king. <laughs> Wait, do it. <laughs> Have you guys seen Man of War? No, no. We wish we could see Man of War. We want Man of War to come to the U.S. and tour with us. Yeah, send this tape to them. I'd like to tour with Man of War. I gotta do questions. I'd really like to tour with Man of War. Why? Why? Because they're the Metal King! <laughs> <laughs>